G'day, welcome. Today it's pretty exciting. We're on location at Curtis Falls, which is on Tambourine Mountain where I live. I live just up around the corner from here. So we're just going to have a little, a little play with some acrylics again. I've already got the paints out. I'll run you through them. Um, yeah, so we're just going to enjoy, relax, and get a bit of paint on the canvas. That'll be a water line with a whole bunch of rocks. So once again, like most of my stuff, I'm not worrying about getting everything photographically perfect. I just want to get basically what's there. All right, so basically you know where I'm going. I think, you know, just map it all in. Get a bit of shade and darks happening. Okie dokie. I've gone out on a bit of a limb here for you guys today. Sitting on a log, if I drop anything or fall, I'm in the drink. That's all part of the fun. All that green up above the rocks there. So with plain air painting too, the light, it's gonna change every five minutes, especially if there's a few clouds floating around. But that doesn't matter. Just run with it. Let's get a bit of fleshy colour into these rocks. This will be all greens back in there, I guess. So There's a big tree there, but we won't worry about putting that in until later. Like I said, with the acrylic, like most, a lot of that's dry already, so it's so good. So as we dance around the painting, you just keep coming back to the dry parts and reworking I always like to exaggerate the colors a little that way people notice them now just strengthen and really strengthen all these darks and shadows Nice shadow of my big bald head all over the canvas at the moment. So that water, we're going to put that in last because we'll get all this ready. And it's good to stand up and walk back and just have a good look. So just here's on the side of the brush, really light pressure. If I push down too hard, it'll be a big ugly blob and that's the last thing we want. Just little hints of... Uh, palm leaves. So this is why we want to make sure all that underpaint's nice and dry. And the beauty of this too, we can take this home and tidy it up when you get home. If you've got some reference photos, if you need to add anything. So we don't want too much meat on the brush, not too much paint, just a little bit, just so we can just drag it, drag a few of these lines in. So even though that water's not really blue, we've got a bit of reflection from the sky and the greens, from the foliage. And keep practicing, always practice. And try to tackle subjects you really, that are a little bit scary to you sometimes because it gets you out of that safety zone. And so this is what I mean, you just come back and just keep, keep playing with it and just keep looking at the subject stand back, jump up and walk back and have a good look from a distance. It gives you a different view on what you're doing. So you just keep playing with it. I think I'm going to pull it up there though. I um, hope you learnt something from this. Just get your teeth into it. Enjoy it. Thank you.